So when I move to BU, the whole, uh, we also, because I'm working on poly polymers, I also want to do some simple experiment. So, um, so uh, Professor Xin Zhang also, uh, she also mm -hmm. is doing that. So we, we start to do some very simple uh, experiment to, to build those uh, actuator device. So we apply about, we apply a voltage about uh, 0.5 volts, like small length and typical battery. We, we can design those um, triple, uh, triple, um, triple layer uh, systems, the, um, the captain, uh, 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 some uh, metal, metal layers, and also cutting volume layers. The whole thing, um, we apply the voltage up, upon, upon two ends, you're going to see some bending occurring. We can actually form a model, we actually um, build a model to predict those um, power density, how to maximize the power density input to the um, to the component mode structures, talking about changing the modulus of the component phase, talking about the how, how, to, how to change the, the modulus of the, the uh, captain phase, and also with, um, with, uh, cap captain phase, also we can change the, um, the, the thickness of the um, low, low layers, and then try to tune the, um, the, the power density, and then and predict where it should be, by how big the system should be, and then therefore can minimize the, the input of the power. So after we've seen the connect polymers, uh, we can also try to try to try to build some nano 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 uh, nano wires or those connect polymers by by using those templates uh, um, uh, silica. Uh, therefore, can build uh, we can synthesize lo lo uh, those nano wires. We can build this nano wire to uh, to the to the conventional polymers PDMA, which is used widely used in in pressure science group, and we can we can show that both the electric uh, dielectric constant dielectric response. Also, the um, elastic modulus response turn out to be uh, to be changed. Um, we can mod modulate the, uh, um, those numbers at the same time. You mix mix the um, connecting polymer phase to the uh, normal connecting polymer uh, normal polymer phase. Therefore, we can couple the ele electro to make low uh, response. Maybe used to the um, to low, to meet the sensing um, automatic sensing processes. Uh, so when Professor Duan was uh, coming here. Uh, Last year, after he came in here last year, we started thinking about how to use the graphing to 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 speed speed up the um, the ion transport in the um, in the in the along along uh, graphing interface because we have graphing uh, I'm talking anyway they are built so we can, can see the how how the um, how the ion can couple to water also uh, how they moves how the uh, graphing states actually can be coupled to the state therefore um, it can use the, um, the ion motion to to give you the charge. And then, and then, and then, and then maybe it's another way to twist the the, 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 the the fluid fluid flow to give you the, the uh, to generate the, the voltage, and therefore um, we can use some uh, can be used to the uh, to the power gener generate uh, as a power generator for the for those fluid device. So a summary of this part of work uh, we've talking about we develop a generic uh, Hamiltonian, which can um, can do a lot of a lot of different things and can be very accurate, um, intuitive, also it's very efficient. We can do a lot of different kind of designs. Um, and this is the first part of the talk. And um, so, and, and after that we move to the, to the second part talking about how to understand those uh, glass transition point, uh, glass transition. And, um, and this kind of problem can also belong to another very big set of problems, talking about lot store dynamics. And it, it could it could include the um, gas transitions, the shear tra transmission zone, which are, are those um, plastic carriers for the uh, for the amorphous uh, solids, and how to understand creep, how to understand superfluid water, how protein flows, and many other things. So all these problems they, they, they share very similar property of the following four of them. So here I list four of them, and then first um, these are, these are systems always contain a large amount, a very large exponential large amount of the metal stable states. Therefore, they are nowhere defined one single state, say perfect crystal material is this one order, the other one. They are so many length and then they are not even close to each other. And um, also, the whole relation time can be very big, can be even bigger than experimental one, also can be even bigger than experimental ones. And one thing also lack of the symmetry, therefore, auto utility automatically will never play any role here. And at the same time, if not only one single event will get, make something happen, you need a lot of different events, correlated events. Go one, one, one step, go another step, one by one, build up the whole thing, give the whole relation uh, event. Um, and, and those events can really have a different uh, relation time and they can be a whole spectrum of that. And, and in Spanish, there are only two tools, the temperature and, and mechanical deformations. So how to use this relation to understand how it can be very challenging. So here I quote a sentence from, um, from uh, Peter Anderson, one of the, the 
one, uh, one of the, the, the greatest um, Chinese mental the theorists um, in the past century. So basically, he, he, uh, in 1995, he wrote a section saying uh, deepest, uh, most uh, um, interesting and, and, and solved problem uh, in solid theory is as we will plan here. And then in his view, it, it's to be about a God generation. So, um, so he was thinking that something going to happen in the next 10 years, but uh, we didn't see much happening at all. Uh, basically, um, I know it, a bit of a sense that it's a very important problem, but there are no real tools can be used to attack this problem. And therefore, the, the, the field got stuck for a long, long time. And the is very different from the classical uh, phase transitions as, as well described by, by phases. We do a phase transition, for example, to understand how uh, ice become water, how, how, I, how ice melt. Then, um, then um, it doesn't matter who, who do it or how you do it. Like, um, anybody will see that one. Everyone, one one atmosphere, 273.15 Kelvin, you're going to see something happen. Nobody can see something else, like a uh, different way. But question is, depending on how, how you do it, and who do it, you can cause a very different different transition. Can cause different transition. Also, transition can be can be continuous and 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 and, and cooling rate dependent. So the um the uh, heat correction now may really turn out to be very important variables. Therefore, people look at the those dy dynamic properties to figure out how this shear viscosity actually play a role. So, because we know that for sure, the shear will really change by seven other when uh, when temperature approaches the classroom temperature. And, and some material behave, sitting outside, for example, become a very straight line. And the other materials, like polymers, normally are uh, molecular, uh, uh, crystal material, uh, molecular structure, they form some, some, some curve line like that. So, we have some, something called strong behavior as well some, some fragile behavior. And because this log of the eta, so, so it means that if it's strong, then the Q is constant. So if you like fragile weight, the Q, this activation energy cannot be constant, so you increase as the temperature decreases. So, so <coughs> to understand the origin of fragility can be a very important thing uh, people are people uh, looking, uh, looking forward to understand in terms of the transition theory. And, um, and, and in terms of viscosity, it's not, nothing more than the, um, the, the stress tensor uh, relationship in time. So if you do a certain tensor and then, and then integrate the whole, the, whole, the whole time by average all the ensembles, you get the average and then integrate from zero to, um, to the relation time, the whole curve, the, the, the area underneath the curve will, will be contributed to the, um, to, the, to, the, to the eta. So for crystal material, it will be flat, like it will be straight line all across, so it will diverge. So for normal glass state, it cannot be diverged all the time, it's decay. But if decay time is longer than experimental time, then nobody can really do the measurement, do the integrate, uh, integration. And then if you follow normal, Molecular dynamics measures, you can only go by four other materials. Nobody can capture uh, very really sharp transition uh, points apart, upon that. So, um, so what to do? What to do here? So basically, we we made our way to 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 to, to build our problem in two steps. One is try to develop a, a mapping between temperature and 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 and, and heat structure energies. And you're sitting on, on a basin and um, and compute how the activation barrier actually changes as a function of E. Therefore, it can be a functional, functional of T. So Q is a function of E, E is a function of T. Therefore, Q is a function of, of, the, um, of, the, of the T. Therefore, we can build in this kind of heat, Q, uh, T dependent of the Q. Therefore, we can, we can map out the whole uh, viscosity thing. And then how to make the barrier, uh, how can, uh, obviously can be also can be very complicated. So, um, so we're talking about the, the kind of three, in, like, like 3, 000, uh, 3 million, like 10 to 23, um, 10 to 23, um, Dimensional um, energy service here, and then um, and then and then here I only give the two-dimensional case. I'm um, talking about if I dig three holes in uh, on on the wall of this barrel, for example, I want to I want to I want to know which barrel uh, actually uh, which hole actually the low the lowest one. So what I did here is I can I can fill by water and see how water actually escape um, actually leak from the the, the the barrel. Therefore, I can detect the events. Then I can I can I can and bookkeeping it and then um, and then. And then understand the uh, the behavior. Then exactly our algorithm, how our algorithm work in, uh, in such an intuitive way. So basically, we start from local minimum, we feel uh, we feel some 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 potential up, like like water particles, and then relax, and then feel up and relax again. And then at the end, you feel the whole thing will relax very fast. And then how much we can explore every single point, see the lowest one going to here and going there one by one, and give the whole map. And there's a different version. Although the whole idea is very simple here, but to make it work also can be challenging. We we can spend time to really develop by years the um, different um, uh, to improve the, the condition speed uh, over the years. So after doing all this, we can map the whole thing up, the temperature to um, e, uh, e bar uh, mapping and E bar to the uh, Q bar mapping. Therefore, you can build the whole video special for something called a BLJ potential, which, which is not, nothing really to the material materials we're talking about. 
Uh, basically, we find out that it doesn't matter whether it's uh, something called a uh, stiffness outside strong material or fragile materials. Every single thing, whatever is strong, when you go to very high temperature, temperature here is 1 over T, so high temperature means the zero here, uh, 1 over T equals zero. So high temperature case, uh, you're going to see that the, the transition crossover transition from fragile to uh, uh, strong to very fragile crossover is a thing happening for all, all kinds of materials. Not only so, we, uh, we can also understand how, how those strong materials should have the uh, different shape features. Uh, Fragile material have a different shape and it's committed to strong, strong ones. So, uh, in other words, like, uh, when, when, uh, when a uh, fragile material actually um, decreases the uh, different temperature of the uh, uh, fragile materials, they're going to occupy lower, lower states. Therefore, it takes more energy to go out the whole well because there are no short, shortcuts to connect um, the, the two uh, basin and the same energies. But, but for those sleeping outside uh, 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 materials, so called strong materials, they always have shortcuts which can link them together. We go keep go down. Uh, in energy, you only need a steel need about the same energy to climb over the, 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 the activation barrier, therefore it can relax the system. Uh, then the Q is not, not so much depending on T. Therefore you can see a very, very small, tiny, uh, fragile behavior, but very strong behavior, uh, very fragile behavior for the, uh, for the other system. So this part beyond the PLG and this part beyond the SL2 to tell you that how topographically, how energy landscape is different from each other. And we use kind of material can really do design um, this one problem, uh, or one thing uh, Han, Han, Han Luo in our group was doing. He also, he not only in, in, in doing those calculation work to predict how to design something called the AL geos. Um, so some geos, the, uh, the density can be so light, so, so, so small, can reach the level of the air, like the same order material of the air, like uh, this very light material, also can be thermally uh, insulating very well. And he also feel that experimental setup to the uh, to thin, thin material. Therefore, whatever we find uh, from creation can be implemented into the um, uh, uh, material design in real experiment. So we couple everything together um, in our lab. So the, the, the last part talk I, I will mention. I think I've been collaborating with a person Park Hello Park in, in our department. So not only talk about temperature, how temperature uh, actually play a role in terms of uh, morphous system deformations. We we'll think about how strain rate the um, the, the mechanical load can actually play a similar role. So people always think about how density and load and also temperature can really uh, influence the mechanical property of those both systems, like the jamming systems and unjam systems. And um, in terms of the um, the pure temperature effect, the, that's what we've been doing. We cut from one side to the other side. We have echo force all the time and go out the whole whole well one by one. Keep going doing that. If you do the sh um, the 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 mechanical deformation, pure mechanical deformation, you're going to see that we're going to keep the barriers one by one. You're going to shear out, therefore, the barrier up behind you will increase, and then if you will decrease, you have the shear effect. Because it basically add a, a, a linear, a linear um, potential upon to it, so it becomes, you delete the barrier because of the shear effect. But the question is how to couple it together uh, as, the, um, as a whole scheme, therefore, can investigate the temperature and strain rate effect at the same time. So the way we do that is we, um, we, we look at the, the single events uh, strain rate uh, of function which people know in the situation. So if one single event happens, we know how to compute the strain rate associated to that, to, to that event. But, but the real question is that if you share like, very complex systems, there are many, many things happen at the same time. So how to incorporate that in, uh, in general is very, very challenging. So what we realize at the end is we can build something we call a guardic space. So we are allowed to, every single transition occur, it starts from, uh, from, from this I state, initial state, we allow the whole, the whole, the whole system to explore this subspace completely, and ignore whatever is outside in, in outside um, this energy window. Therefore, we have a gothic space subspace also in uh, uh, non gothic one uh, outside. Therefore, by keeping strain rate, um, if it decreases strain rate, the, ho the whole the whole window becomes bigger and bigger. Therefore, it can explore more and more space. Therefore, it can allow more different kind uh, new mechanism to come into your role. Therefore, it can access to different. Um, uh, uh, strain rate and they also allow all kind of reaction occur within this uh, this type of space. So therefore, we can lump everything up into one, one single effective um, uh, gamma gamma zero that uh, 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 which we only one single variable we wish to fit to, to the real um, to something we, we, we trust. Therefore, um, we can we can we can compute this Q bar uh, Q star as a function of temperature and uh, and gamma dot. Then we can repeat uh, for the strain. Um, we can strain the system and hold it, and then hold the allow system to explore the most favorable states. And after that, it find out the most favorable states, explore the whole region to find out the most favorable states to stay in. Uh, we can shear again to, to, the net, to the next states. And after that, we keep shearing that, uh, uh, explore the new space, and then, and, and then repeat the whole thing. Then we end up having the, um, the, 
the T and gamma dot dependence of the um, of the uh, attention mechanism. And this one, this one we show from which people know already. Like if you do a pure shear without any temperature effect, you will see some 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 causal proximities. Uh, something called a shear Chapman zone S, uh, STZ. There's some compression fields, also the ten, ten, tensile fields, uh, which are kind of symmetric. If you look around, like I do a circle, you see that they, they follow a sign shape. But if you introduce a very small time, a tiny uh, temperature effect about 1% uh, of the TG temperature, you see the whole thing already got, got completely de destroyed and no symmetry exists anymore. And we find that in more genetically, um, people can assess to, uh, to, to this determinate problem, but we find out that if you do incorporate the strain rate as a log scale to the um, temperature, one over T scale, um, a t a temperature scale, we find out there's a, a transition crossover thing coming from the strain driven events to those uh, thermally assessed events all the time. Um, and then the, the yield stress also is a function of the, um, of the whole states. And people can only, so far before us, people can only assess to those points, not the, not the whole curve at all. And, and not only one STG, we can also find out how FTG is from a shear band. If you shear along the X di di direction, um, it's two decays. So um, these two, first you're going to generate the STG and, and one nearby, and these two are coupled together, give the whole uh, shear band bending, uh, yielding along that di di direction. But if you allow temperature to play a role, um, you might initially form something like that, but in the, initial, uh, in the end, if temperature can find out another pass to go over, you might find another pass and then maybe yield along the direction. Which is different from what people knew. Um, what were you think about by pure shear deformations? And then we can also predict that thing also. So it's a crossover thing. So in summary, what I'm talking about here, we, we have new methods. We can really um, be quite powerful uh, to explore the temperature and strain rate dependence of the um, of the materials uh, in terms of performance. So it's about the strong uh, facial to strong crossovers, um, uh, different kind of land, landscapes. Also, the STZ is one of the most important qualities in terms of the, those practic practicity carriers for amorphous solids. And, um, and also, we can do those uh, prediction for the field designs. So, lastly, I'm um, trying to comment one more time about uh, students, also the, the work hour, work students, also my collaborators. And thank you all. So the crossover, if, of course, like um, we are talking about here, so if we allow them to explore, um, so we predict that if we wait for infinite number of time, if we wait for uh, for the end of the universe, we're going to see that happen, the crossover happen. But of course, in real experiment, you only can chunk it at a certain window. If that event occurred before your, your transition time, your experimental time, then you're going to see it. But that, that crossover time can, can exist beyond the, uh, the experimental observation time. So we, we, we don't, uh, we can predict what, what that time will be. But for human beings, we cannot move our time so arbitrarily to another point as we wish. So we know that, first, we know we can predict when it's going to happen. We can predict when it's going to happen in picosecond, nanosecond, or, or seconds, or years, or million years. We can predict the time. But whether we can verify or not, depending on whether the time happened to be in the experimental regime or not. If it happened to be in the second regime, we can, we can see it. If, if 100 years, we need to wait 100 years to see that. We, we cannot, we don't have a way to bring that thing come closer to us because we, we cannot access to that time at this moment. You're just saying I need to keep a graduate student running longer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, you want, if you want to verify the, the prediction theory, but we predict something exist. And that kind of prediction can be verified by the, by the, by the it's not relevant time, time, time scale. If beyond that window, um, it believe me or it wait for a longer time. Is a, is, a, is a random variable, it can have any direction. So the reason why, why it look at that way is because you shear it. So if you shear it, it has a compression field, also a tensile field, so it's well defined. So 
if the plastic carrier, this unit, okay, so these are morphic systems. So people are looking for those dislocation, like uh, property in these kind of morphic systems. And people call it here as a shear transparent zone. There's a circle inside. So this circle has, a, has a, a, a far field symmetries, which has the tensile field, also the uh, uh, conventional field. Uh, therefore, you have a quantum symmetry. And this is because of the shear deformation. If a quantum shear, you have a temperature, random temperature perturbations. It can be any di di direction. If the random perturbation material is about the same order as the, this kind of mechanical deformations, they can destroy the complete of the mechanical uh, symmetry. So that's why the if temperature effect will look like something quite different. And this kind of thing is very hard to predict, but we can compute, you can predict what's going on. Okay, also find out universally, if you really strain very quickly, everything will follow you. If you strain not so quickly as compared to the temperature effects, temperature can play a role and then all can fall over. If temperature really, um, if you strain very slowly, you wait until it happens, the temperature can, can do everything. So that's why it's always a universal strain driven to the temperature driven uh, crossover thing occurring in the building period. You really plot the whole, the whole map. That's relatively weak strain. Uh, you can, you can put any strain well, on. You can put a very, very strong strain also. Uh, I have the whole spectrum here. Sure, but the example that you showed, that would be a relatively weak strain relative to this. Um, it could be a uh, weak, uh, so for example, 10 to 20, 10 to the uh, 10, 10 to the, um, so here the gene, this, this regime, this regime is about experimental regime. So, so, okay, maybe I can I can draw the other one. Okay, this is about experimental regime. So it means that the crossover is going to occur at that temperature, about point two temperature. We cannot predict that. Not only tell that you're going to occur this regime, I'll tell you what at what temperature they're going to occur. You can do experiment to see that. You, you can use experiment. Uh, you can use the um, the, the, the temp You can control the temperature of the system to see the kind of crossover. So if you offer the temperature, of course, then in this regime, you never see crossover, you always see the thermally activated regimes. But if, you, uh, if, you, if I'm here, you're going to see the strange human regimes. But in temperature, it's a volatile regime, you're going to see the crossover. And this crossover is universal. It doesn't matter which, which shear, which shear rate or which temperature, you're going to see that all the time. That? Yeah, so basically, um, in, in quantum mechanics, people try to push as far as possible about the electron correlation part. So to compute the correlation part uh, as accurate as possible. But we know that's a, a, less long, less one of the most long standing problem of kinetic matter theories. Electron correlation, like um, how one electron couple to the other electron, is very complicated. So, um, so to do so is quite, um, it's, for me, I don't prefer to go like relation. In kinetic polymers, I realized that if we can possibly separate the, the stronger binding called sigma binding, sigma bond, from the, the pi binding, which, which do, okay, basically, I realized that in kinetic polymers, there are two kinds of electrons. One is those structure builders. You map out the whole, the whole landscape of the, 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 the polymer structure, backbones. And, and the second group of, of, of the electrons called pi electrons, they are the real workers. workers. So, um, so I use the worker to couple to the strong backbone Electrons, which are phonons now, so we use those electron phonon couplings to do the work, and therefore can predict everything. Of it. So basically, we, we believe that how electron, pi electron, those workers actually correlate to each other. The correlation effect is nothing more than some small deformation mm. on those big guys. So if I get the coupling right, I don't really care how small uh, those weak guys really behave, uh, talk to each other. They all, they all, what they all, what they all do, they all need to couple to the to a stronger uh, to, to a structures. As long as you get the, the electron to the structure coupling right, the rest will be fine. And that's exactly how, that's exactly why, why it works so well. And the coupling is universal, we don't need to do anything. Yes? I, I take it the approach was helpful in terms of modeling it, but by this approach, you're not changing the physics, you're changing when you're doing the calculations, is that correct? Right, 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 right. We, we, we seem to be having a, a Quite try intelligent way of bypass a very complicated problem by by knowing how this complicated problem couple to another simple problem and solve simple ones and then turn out to be exactly solve the uh, the complex one as well. In, in the normalization, when you build up the block, and that's what you're doing here. 
The important point is uh, to renor also to renormalize the governing constants. So oh. that renormalizing returning is equivalent to the one you started. So the question is how, uh, how, how, do, you, uh, how do you do it? Uh, Ken Wilson tried to do it for many years and failed. Um, so people are trying to do that, but nobody will push. Also, by the way, he also got numbers. <laughs> no, I don't know. I know. I know. I know. But I, I don't know how to. Uh, uh, how my my personal answer to your question is following. Okay, I think people, people from physics, whatever they they are fine with different structures, but when they see that this, they just panic and they don't do anything. <laughs> they just stop doing it. like it's too complicated and stop doing that. I think everything is same as that guy. So so that's why people didn't try that hard. So you don't need a person who. Who from materials background, like <laughs> understand the complexity of materials, and also at the same time understand the physics deep enough, they can come together. You need to do work, also understand enough to do. If you try, of course, it's not hard. I agree. Like, I show you how it works, and it works well. It's not hard at all. It's not simple. Also, it's very, very straightforward. Also, intuitive anyway. But how, how do you guarantee that your? Uh, I can guarantee, the, but oh, I can, but I, I show that by by the by the facts data, I kind of sense that it's going to work. I cannot do it. Okay, fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody can prove it's work. I, I, I cannot prove it's working. But I show my real data. See that I do. A, I do all the searches. I cannot guarantee it's going to work. There are no theory to to to, to guarantee that work. But in terms of the um, Landau uh, Landau Fermi theory, for example, we know that in, in some certain sense, the low low excitation, low excitation has to be right for quantum particles. The thing I'm doing now is trying to find out quantum particles. I know that it exists like quantum particles. I don't know how to form it, so I just form every single part, every way I, I, I know intuitively. I try to find a way, and this way seems to be working now. So, um, in a couple, you have your uh, your uh, design template. I think it's like that one, right? Yeah. So, can you explain? You've got two dimensional axis there, you know, for your colored mosaic. So, so it. it the different kind of systems people know about. These are all okay. systems people know about. But so why doesn't it? But I, I guess I'm looking for an explanation of what are you plotting in your mosaic? Your, okay. your the, the real bank. And then can you explain why it's not continuous? Right. So it's people expected. Why is it chopped up? Yeah. Be because because the, the real bank is not it's not so correlated to the to the how the the model two model work. So basically, it's a component of A and B's. This column is A. This column is B. So the A and B mixture had nothing direct correlation with the, the, how A behave and how B behave. It, they talk to each other. <laughs> That's why they're not continuous. Otherwise, they're continuous. Yeah. But they come back can important because I can use a design now. I can use it's a design map. I show you a map. You can this map, you can, you can find the materials. That's all I can offer now. There's no function I can write out, but I can, I can tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. And we can do the whole thing within two days. If you do experiment, for example, each system you need a, a PhD uh, in organic uh, chemistry. <laughs> Stay for two years, think like that, make it not right, then here again, all again. So we can re uh, speed up the, the design part of the, the problem. So, so in, in this context, if, if the upper right corner is the picture that somebody might naively expect from mixing the two polymers, right. what motivated, and I, I guess red is good, right? Some, some um, it depends on what it's a tender cell, it's a tender cell, right? It, it needs every kind of, of, of the organic. Okay. So, so that's why it's so powerful. Somebody might need it, right? If you need red, I can give you red. I can tell you so many reds, I can give you all of it. Okay. So, but, but I, I guess what I'm, I'm wondering is what motivated you, 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 singled, you singled out a, sing, a particular red dot? Oh, that dot, that dot is the one which is a, the current record of the world, right? This is why people use that and they work pretty really well, like about 12% of the. Uh, how can you use it? Okay, so you, you singled that one out. That's, that's a good one. So, but if I take that point... I didn't say that good one. I said that this one is the one people use right now. I thought you said it was the world record. Oh, uh, because good. people don't have the other one at all. I'm sorry about that. So, this is the one people know what it is also have them. It's made of visually synthesized already. They measure the bank gap. They have everything to think data about, about their phones. The rest, they may not even exist yet. Sure, I understand that. Right. Okay, so my question is, that point there, right. it seems to be a good one. Okay. Okay. Now, if I look at the, that point in the in the in the upper right figure, uh -huh. the, it doesn't it doesn't.
doesn't seem to be particularly special in the continuous. Well, it's not, yeah. In the continuous. So what would motivate somebody to pick a completely arbitrary, non-special? That's how women do it, you know. <laughs> so I says, people just think of something, they go for it. But Sometimes they what, play by luck. What, what motivated the thinking to do that? Do you, do you understand? I mean, oh, right, right. So people, people have an idea in mind. People try to do it. They exactly. have A so, and B. So that, look, that looks like a, a, a bad choice. From I know. Uh, yeah. So why did they build it? I mean, this is not about your. I mean, it's not about you. I'm just wondering why. Why would somebody say, "Well, this is what we expect," so let's pick a crummy one and try it? And it doesn't seem to make. In many times, okay. okay. People, people make it here. Doesn't. In, let's say why. Let's exactly why I should say here. Commissional work is so be so important because I can guide you predictively. Is that just trying arrows? So so far, people are all doing. I agree. Okay. People look at points. It does, at that time, they they don't know. They are hoping to get something else. They don't know what they're looking for. They know something they're looking for, but the label they get may not be something they're expecting at all. They may not be shooting for the red one at all. Right. I see. But basically, your future, which one would you pick? Depending on, tell me what color do you need. Oh, okay. It's a design. Uh, I, I, I can, I can, that's why it's so powerful. Yeah. I can tell this you. It doesn't have any synthesis or ease of synthesis or kinetics of synthesis or none of that is there. It's basically, right. you have choices, but then. You know, many how realistic distinct to how to make it. Yeah, but at least they the other hand, maybe they were trying to make a blue one. Right, 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 right. And the case is spectacularly. Gentleman in the back. Oh, yes, so my question would be, so for Ivory, Before I finish, I don't know, I cannot predict either. Yeah. Because it's so complicated, I need, I need to go to Hamptonian to solve the Hamptonian to get the make it out. Yeah. That's why I don't think at all. Theoretically, you can make the most efficient cells out there. Because you could say, like, I um, need okay. this band gap. At this map, I can tell you the, the exact band gap of that. But band gap doesn't determine, band gap need the, uh, need the thing um, Asu just, just mentioned, you need the morphology. You need, you need to how to make it happen. So you need another thing, which I'm trying to do design right now. I'm going to complete the whole thing, but I need to do one step by one step. So I can guarantee you that the bank is right now. Yeah. The rest I can't guarantee you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But it's important anyway. So, so I'm, I'm, this is the kind of stage now. Like, I cannot tell you anything I think about, about the overall power of community efficiency. But I can tell you something which is really important, which is about bank gap. Any other questions? Thank you.